Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. It is a happy Sabbath. It's youth Sabbath. First, I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the head of my life. To my pastor, Pastor Marvin, First Lady Esther. To Pastor and Minister Gordon, Mom and Dad. Elder and Sister Rubab. Deacon Rickett and Deacon Stewart. To the youth ministry, ministry leaders, Sister Esther Stewart and Sister Maynard. To all the members of Bronx Church of God, Seventh Day. To here in the sanctuary and on Zoom. I welcome you, I greet you in Jesus, na in Jesus Christ. Please pray with me. Lord, thank you. Lord, I thank you for today, and I thank you for allowing me to stand before your people and share your word. It, it, let your will be done and not mine. Let they only see you and not me. I thank you, God, for blessing me with this word and that it blesses other people and fills, other, and fills them for the week. Lord, I pray that my words encourage them and move them so that they could have a great week and let them keep, in, keep you in their minds. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Um, please stand as I read Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. And it says, Then when Jesus was led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, and he had fasted, for, he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempt, tempter came to him, he said, If thou the Son of God, command these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou, the, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give an his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any, in, at any time thou dash thy foot against thy against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him un into an exceeding mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and in the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things I will give to, the give to thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The word of God is blessed. Please take your seats. Do we listen to Jesus? I'm going to let that sink in. Do we listen to Jesus? In our daily lives, we listen to friends, bosses, coworkers, teachers, classmates, social media, music advertisements, the news, and so much more. While we are listening to all these things, we don't take enough time to listen and be quiet to, to listen to Jesus talking to us. Most of us spend time listening to other things God has blessed us with, but we don't take time to sit and listen to, to thank him for them. My sermon title is a question, Do We Listen to Jesus? The title is asking us if we listen to the true and living Savior. It was just Lord's Supper and we were celebrating our Lord being crucified and risen again. So if we know and believe that he is alive and well wh and took away the sinful world, why aren't we listening to him? Some things we listen are nationwide is on your side, which is a, which is a jingo. But a ba 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 I'm loving it, McDonald's. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Arby's, we got the meats. I'm a bacon now, Huggies. And Liberty, 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 Liberty just to name a few. As you can see, listening to those things just once or twice, they get stuck in your head because that's what they're meant to do. They are meant to be short and catchy to stick in your head and tempt you to buy what they're trying to sell or get you to join. As humans, we are tempted at one point in our lives. Even Jesus, the one who we look to, even he was tempted. Jesus got tempted multiple times, in times in the Bible, yet he still was not able to fall for temptation. We find in Matthew chapter 4 to 1 verse 11, it reads, Then Jesus was up to the spirit in, uh, into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. The devil tried to tempt him multiple times. And he was fa fasted 40 days and 40 nights. He was afterward and hungered. 
he was hungry, so the devil tried to put that against him to turn stones into bread. The word is telling us what to do in times of temptation. The word is telling us how the devil tried to tempt Jesus, but instead of giving in to temptation, Jesus stood by his father's word and quoted it word for word. That's why we have Bible study, and that's why we read our Bibles, so that when, we, when the devil tries to tempt us and lead us down the wrong path, we quote scripture. We also learn and memorize the scripture so that if, if someone is spreading the wrong scripture to another person, you can be the one to correct them and lead them onto the right path in love. In the song, In the Name of Jesus, it is saying we had the victory because we have won over temptation. We have won the battle of temptation. Another song is Victory is Mine, saying, I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Another song we listen or hear is, Lord, I lift your name up high. Jesus came to earth to show us the way. He came to earth to be a living example on how we need to live. Yeah, we are human, so, and we have to pray to do the right thing. We are tempted because of original sin, that, origi that, that original sin of Adam and Eve who fell for the devil's temptations. God gives us multiple sources when we are in the time of state of trouble, temptation, and any time we need. The sources are the Bible, prayer, our pastor, and the people in the ministry to help and guide us back on the right path so that we can make it, to make, make it when we die. I remember, I remember another time when someone was tempted. This time it's not Jesus, it's Adam and Eve. Temptation has been a, a thing for a long time because Adam and Eve were in the first book of the Bible when the, fir when the world was first made. In the first book of, of the Bible, Genesis, it tells us about temptation before the devil even thought about tempting Jesus. Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 through 17 says, And the, world, and the Lord God took the, took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and ke to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree th of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For the, for the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Now we see that God has clearly told Adam, Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree. Now in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, the devil tempts Eve. It says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye hath, ye hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of every of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of, of the which is in the midst of the garden. God's, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doeth, for God do, doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then, the, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be gods, knowing all good and evil. The devil is trying to, trying to deceive us, but it's, e but it's important for us to always pray, to read God's word, and to ask God to help us to understand and remember his holy word. So that, that when temptations come, come, we can be strong and stand in the victory to obey God's word, not to fall for temptation. In conclusion, I ask again, do we listen to Jesus? We listen to so many other things that distract us, but, when, but what's important is that we have to listen to Jesus. I hope this message encourages you and fills your cup 